Terry, talk a little bit about the uh, fan support and the atmosphere tonight. Oh, it was, it was uh, second to none. Um, you know, it was uh, when we first run out on that field and there's almost 50,000 people cheering for us and, you know, it felt like uh, it was our home and, and, you know, we came out with that mentality and then all of a sudden had two goals and uh, unfortunately we couldn't hold on. Did it feel a little bit almost like a European fixture or an English match with the huge stadium? And yeah, yeah, it did. And we had a train yesterday in the stadium and uh, listening to Torsten's stories, which he <laughs> keeps giving us. Uh, yeah, it definitely had a European feel to it. And the fans tonight were fantastic. Obviously, a, you know, a different um, pressure with a preseason match in this one. H how did you guys go about just sort of flicking a switch? Because it looked like you, you never lost a step compared to the Dallas game. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it was, uh, maybe some credit goes to the to the fans, and, uh, you know, we, we had a game plan, and we, we, tr we all stuck together and played as a team, and um, got the goals, and just unfortunately couldn't hold on. And it got a little chippy out there at times, is that a, the type of game you like to play? Yeah, yeah, no, for sure, and they're in our house, you know, we don't want to let them come here and take points or score goals, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the whole team. So, you know, it's, it's just after the match, but any thoughts on what the team needs to do to pull out a result uh, next week? Um, I, I think we go into next week with some confidence. Uh, there were a lot of play people out there doubting us going into this game. And, uh, you know, we scored two, could have had more, and, uh, you know, I, th I think we can go into LA and score. Thanks very much, Terry.